So I did a poll the other day and it was about what language you would learn in the next two years. All right. So, so I got like uh, 1400 votes. 9% said French, 4% said Italian, 7% said Mandarin, and 12% said Swahili. So, you know, most people said Spanish. So I wanted to do a video on how I managed to learn Spanish within three years. There was three things that helped me a lot. All right, I'm gonna show you guys one of the ways I learned Spanish. Duolingo.com is what I use. I didn't get the premium account. I got the I got the free account. It helped me tremendously. So I, this is the website. You could download the app on your phone. Tu teléfono. I'm going to show you how it looks like on a desktop. So Duolingo.com, you go to Spanish. I want to learn Spanish. It's definitely doable. Don't let nobody tell you that it's going to be hard to learn or, you know, don't give up. If you feel like you're not making any progress, definitely don't give up. Boom. Welcome back. I'm not going to give you a Duolingo class, but I just wanted to show you what Duolingo looks like. It's real easy, user-friendly to use. I loved it. You know, you got your intro right here. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, so my advice to you if you want to learn Spanish and you don't know where to start, I would say download an app, put it on your phone. If you're really serious about learning Spanish, movies help a lot. Movies and series. On Netflix, the Mexican section is amazing. The Colombian section is amazing. You could, you could start with that. If you have people to talk to and you live in a city that has a lot of Hispanics and you're friends with them, even better. Also, I understand that not everybody likes Latin music. And if you do like Latin music, Perhaps you like reggaeton, or if you don't like reggaeton, you like bachata, or you like salsa. At times, it's not gonna hurt for you to listen to a Latin song. Even if you're not actively listening to the music, you being exposed to that music once a week, twice a week for like a whole year, later on, your brain will pick up on words that you heard two years back. So I would say the third thing is expose yourself as much as possible by way of the music, la música. The fourth way is obviously, if you can, immerse yourself in a Spanish-speaking country. So me being in Colombia for months at a time, for two or three years, going on four years, has helped me tremendously because now you have no choice but to communicate in a language that you're uncomfortable with. If you're trying to make friends and you're dating women that don't speak English every day that you're on WhatsApp, it sucks, but you'll have to go on Google Translate and try to say something in English, put it in Google Translate, Translate it back. Now in 2021, I'm sure there's apps for that. But back then when I was learning Spanish, there was no, not that I know of, there was no apps for me to lean on. I had to go on Google Translate. And the next thing you know, two years went by, I'm noticing that I'm going on Google Translate less and less. Even if you feel like it's impossible to learn a language, your brain is very powerful. You could, you could do it. You could definitely do it. Even if it takes three years, four years. Me, it took me three years. Some people, it takes, it takes them one year. If you're not the type to motivate yourself, and you need like a classroom setting, then take a class with a teacher or an instructor. That's cool. But that's not the end all be all. You're going to have to do something else, which is watching movies. Now, let's go to the show I was watching a lot, which is Patron del Mal. So this is what, you know, I was watching a show like this. A show like this, you got 81 episodes, I believe. Like something like 81 to, to 90 episodes. It's one season. So that's like 80 hours. If you think about it, every episode is one hour. So that's like 80 hours of listening to Spanish and you got the subtitles and you're good. Be obsessed or be average. You heard me? Be obsessed or be average. Be obsessed. If you want to really learn Spanish, you got to be obsessed with it and watch something that you would like. You know, if you're into drama, try to look for shows in Spanish and drama. If you like science fiction and so on. All right. If you go to a country for a week on a resort, then hey, only thing you have to do is learn la playa, la cerveza. But if you're going to go establish yourself and do business, then at least, you know, we're trying to learn the basic things about the language. That way you can put yourself in a position to win. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what language you actually speak besides English, because if you're watching this video, most likely you speak English. Let me know what else you speak and let me know what else you would like to learn. Language is the thing that separates us, but it could also bring us together. The more languages we learn, the more access you have to people around the world. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you on the next video. Peace out. No está en su mejor momento. Ahora. Y, y es verdad que ahora, Cali, tú eres de Cali, ¿cierto? Sí. Entonces, es verdad que Cali ahora es la ciudad más peligrosa en Colombia.